What's up? What's up? What's up? It's Christine Horn, the Booking Magnet. You are watching Actors Daily Bread, episode 234. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. To all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up? Replay watchers? Love you guys. Happy Friday. What's going on? So I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instafam? I see you. I see you. I see you. What's up, Facebook? So listen, let's dive right in. Let's get into it. So here's the deal. If you are new to me, I want to welcome you. I am Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years, and I'm a life and career coach for actors. I'm the founder of the most amazing Facebook group for actors, and that's Hollywood Bound Actors. What's up to all my HBAs? If this is your first time watching me on a live, put one in the comments. So listen, my specialty is helping actors book more TV. I love what I do and I have an amazing community here. Those of you who are part of it, as you already know. And listen, I sent out an email to my mailing list. Those of you on it and you didn't respond, it's not too late to respond to me. I sent out an email to my entire mailing list and asked, hey, what do you want to talk about? What should we talk about? I see you, Ramsey, OG in the house, right? What do you want to talk about? And so if you're listening to this, if you're catching a replay, if you're a replay watcher, it's all good. You can still email me. I want you to email me. I want to hear from you. You know, this is such a crazy time with, I keep saying the lockdown so that my videos don't get shut down. The certain words are buzzwords. Okay. So it's been such a crazy time with all of that. Um, all of us have been affected in so many ways. And so between that, um, been uh, dealing with and having my students in Bookmore TV. Shout out to all my Bookmore TV students. I'm at a place where I'm like, okay, what does what do, what does my community need to need now? So shout out to those of you. I've been printing off emails that you guys have been sending me this week. So please write me back. I read my emails, and I want to hear from you. So this episode today is dedicated to Natalie Brown. If you are watching this, hey girl. And so Natalie asked about, she was asking about training and I want to give you today five things to think about before you take that next acting class or that acting workshop. And if you're a brand, what I like to call a brand Nubian, a builder, and you're just starting your career and you don't even know what to do next thing, this is going to really be helpful for you. And if you're an experienced actor, who's taking every class under the sun and don't know where you need to go to next, this will help you as well. So stick around. So let's dive right, 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 right in. The first thing I want you to think about, you know, the question that Natalie asked was, um, and this is for those of you who have been, who have been secretly wanting to be an actor, right? You're, you're living your nine to five, you're living your regular life, but there's still something, there's a part of you, there's a yearning in you that wants to, to, to have more, to do more, and to, to tap into um, this thing that feels so crazy, and especially right now. And so there's a misconception that you, if, unless you go to college for acting, you won't be able to be a successful actor. And please hear me before I give my five things to think about. I'm not in no way shading college, okay? Not at all. But I will say, just because you go to a four-year school or maybe you get your master's or whatever, does not mean that makes you a better actor. It just makes you someone who has a larger student debt. <laughs> you just got more loan money. You just got more loans to pay back. Because <laughs> the reality is you can, you can be someone with just some raw talent and make it. Like, it's not that cut and dry. So I just want to just dismiss that notion really quick that you have to graduate from some esteemed college with a degree um, in order to be successful. Listen, now don't get me wrong. And I haven't even gotten to my tips yet. I'm so happy to see your faces and connect with you. It's been so long. But don't get me wrong. Like, yes, if you go to Juilliard and Yale and, and Tisch School of the Arts, North Carolina School of the Arts, so yes, you know, some these, some schools definitely have esteem. I'm not going to say that. But I will say this. There's a misconception that unless you go to school, you can't do the thing. And I think we all know at this point, most of us watching right, or listening on the podcast later, we're adults here. We have understood that, you know, you can be an entrepreneur and have been born uh, poor and not have gone to school at all. Maybe you just, the learning doesn't stop. And that's what I wanted to come on tonight tonight about. And let me be totally transparent as, as I give you these five things to think about, as you think about before you take your next shop 
or think of going to school is I do not have a degree. I do not have a four year college degree. I tried college, honey. It just didn't work. It, it just wasn't for me. Okay. I went, tried a liberal arts college. I tried Gainesville college. I stayed for three months and I left. And then I was like, I just want to be better at acting. I just want to live, breathe, eat acting. And then I went to AMDA, American Musical Dramatic Academy in New York City, where I'm from. Um, and I went on the musical theater track. And I only stayed a year out of the two years of that conservatory because for me, the school was not balanced for me in a way that I wanted it to be. And the best, the best experience you can get is in the trenches. And I know there might be teachers or college professors out here who are cringing right now, but that's my personal opinion. I mean, the best training I've gotten, yes, was it wasn't in school. It was when I was in a youth theater company after school, right? Yes, I got training in my magnet department of high school, but there's just don't think that, um, that you have to go to college because here's why. Even if you go to college, you don't stop learning. So here's five things I want you to think about before you take your next acting class or workshop. Number one is start with the basics, the foundation. If you are a newbie, the foundation is key. Even if you're advanced, foundation is key. I think back to my dancing days and shout out to all my dancers out here. You know, I know professional dancers who've danced with Alvin Ailey and, um, and the, um, with Horton technique, like all, I can't think of all the names right now, like experienced dancers, some of my Broadway uh, colleagues, but every now and then they're like, I got to go back to basics and they'll go back and take a ballet class, just like a basic ballet class. Not because they don't know how to do tendu, plie, releve, suit to new turns, but because they know that's the foundation. That's They know that's where everything is rooted. They need to work on their posture. They know, oh, I just need to get back in class and just reconnect my body to what the foundation is. And so I say that to you for actors is sometimes we just need to get back in a basic ass, hey, this is how we create character. <laughs> this is how we tap in. Like just doing that and humble yourself and not think, oh, I'm beyond this. I know this already, but humble yourself and like, I think you, when you come back some years later, you're like, wow, there'll be a new light bulb on, right? So that's my thing, number one, I want you to think about. Number two is, again, if you're just hopping on, this is Actors Daily Bread, episode 234, right? So the second thing I want you to think about is that you might need to niche down or niche down, niche, niche, whatever it is, tomato, tomato, right? So sometimes you need to niche, niche down, <laughs> I'm going to just say niche for tonight. And I mean, Lord knows I'm a coach in this. I teach book more TV. That's my course book more TV. Guess what? I teach there TV. I teach book more TV, but listen, I came from the theater. I have a, I've been on Broadway. I, I started in the theater, but I also know all lanes are not created equal. So a big mistake, a lot of us as actors, and I'm adding myself in this pot. We get so excited by the opportunity. We see our friend over here doing voiceovers. Oh, we see our friend over here doing uh dubbing. We see our friend over here doing theater. Oh, musical theater. Oh, straight stage play. Oh, film. Oh, TV. Oh, indie independent projects, commercials. And you feel like I want to do it all at once. And then you get frustrated because you start taking random ass classes by people who are not really truthfully in the lane in which you would desire to go. So here's question number one. You got to ask yourself, what do I want now? What do I need in this season? So yes, you can try them all because as actors, we want to do it all. We feel like we can, but I'm here to tell you, get known for something and be clear about what you want next in your life. Y'all, it's time for the Beyonce fan because y'all know I'm getting hyped. It's Friday. <laughs> the fan. Come on, fans. Don't let me down. Okay. There's a blow. Okay. I feel like we're blowing now. We're good. <laughs> Look, I didn't put on no makeup today, but... I will at least have my fan. So y'all want to, you know, uh, did y'all see that when you're a kid going to fan? Okay, let me stay focused. So niche down. So maybe, <laughs> maybe right now, right now is August 2020. Maybe right now your focus is TV. Maybe right now your focus is commercial. So don't feel like you're being deprived of something. 
know that you can get put your hands on different things at different times, but be clear on where you are headed next. And be clear that the money that you're investing, the time that you're investing, the energy that you're investing are towards the things that are going to get you to the next thing that you want. So niche down. Because listen, I have my notes here. There's, there's classes for commercials, film, TV, theater, on camera, voiceover. What do you want next? Get clear on that. Okay? Next thing I want you to think about is, you know, sometimes people are like, Oh man, I studied with Christine Horn. Man, I studied with XYZ over here. I studied with someone so here. Y'all all saying different things. And I don't know. And now I'm stuck. First of all, Wusa. And understand that any coach that you are studying with, you need to treat it like oh, I don't have nothing there. Y'all know I like visuals. I like visuals. Okay? So this is my little, my little bucket. So to me, this bucket is filled with different types of coaching. So I got Christine Horn coaching right here. I got Dwan Johnson. I got Wendy Braun here. I got Greg Allen Wilson here. I got Amy Jo Berman here. I got Elise. I got Asia Ray Cohn. Like, there's just all kinds of coaching. What do you need now? Because on the surface... Two coaches that you're trying to work with or two schools you think you might want to attend may look exactly the same. And I'm here to tell you all highlights are not created equal, not based on where you are in this time. Are y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Let me see some comments here to make sure I'm not just talking to myself. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because I think sometimes there's a misconception that you have to choose and that once you choose one, that's all you can choose. None of these are your forever... None of these are your, your forever coaches or highlights. Now, for some of you, you may attend a school or training where that just becomes how you operate, and that is fine. But that's not always going to be the case. It is okay to have four highlighters in your pencil case. Okay? Are we clear on this? Facebook, y'all quiet. Come on, Manny, Dawn, Anita. I see you, Cedric. I see you, Sasha, Andrea. Yes. So don't think that because you invested in this highlighter first half of the year, that when you invest in this one, it totally erases what the first one did. And I feel like sometimes that's the thing that we start to think about. It all, all of these beautiful highlighters go in my toolbox. And guess what? When, I, when my next audition comes up, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I like the tip this one gave me. Ooh, with Christine, she said that. But wait a minute, Dwan said this. Hold on, she said that. Now, ooh, and then when I mix all these together and make my own rainbow, that is my process. That is my method. Those of you who rock with me in Book More TV, shout out to you. Those of you who've been in any of my webinars, you know I'm always talking about creating your rinse and repeat process to Book More TV or to Book More Film or to Book More Commercials. And it takes all of these beautiful parts. And listen, you know, my family, we come, you know, I got Jamaican roots, Bermudian roots. We eat the fish. We eat whole fish all the time. So eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it don't work for you, leave it to the side. But don't feel so locked into one thing. And please, and I know I'm not on the, I'm not on the soapbox, but this is urgent. This is urgent. Do not let any coach, any school, anybody make you think that if you are not doing it 100% their way, that you are wrong. Let me say that again. You are not wrong for taking a little bit of everything and making it something so unique, so wonderful, so your own. Dawn said, you take the meat, leave the bones. Yes, but know that this is your toolbox. So it's okay. You're not cheating on me or cheating on another coach. If you take other classes, you're supposed to do that. And so this way, this whole thing that inspired this session tonight, and again, if you're just joining, I've emailed my, if you're on my Facebook group, I, not my, my Facebook group, yes, but if you're on my email list specifically, I like to email you guys. And when you, please know I'm actually reading the email. So I printed out a bunch today, and this is from Natalie Brown inspired this today. And talking about training, you're not only learning one time and you're always going to learn. 
listen, I have so much separation anxiety. Shout out to my inner circle members like Cedric right here. I work with them for six months and I feel like I put so much time and energy and they got to go. Their six months is up and I'm like, I'll be so sad, but I know it's time for them to go to their next, which leads me to my next tip for you when thinking about where to go next for your training. Okay. Understand, here's tip number four. So let's recap real quick. Number one, start with the basics. Start with the foundation, even if you're not new, but especially if you're new, get in a class or in a school that teaches the basics and the foundation. I'm gonna give you, let me write my bonus thing before I forget. It's a little controversial too, so I don't wanna forget it. <laughs> so start with the basics. Second one is niche down. On the be very specific on what you're trying to do next and get coaching around that. Third thing is eat the fish, spit out the bones, put it all in your two box, which we just talked about, right? Next thing, tip number four, thing to think about number four. <laughs> My name is Chelsea, shall do. That's such a colored response. <laughs> thing number four is understand that your breakthrough might be with someone else. So let me sit, let me explain. So you might have the same coach for five years. It could be a mentor that you really respect, right? Maybe you did go to college and you studied with someone who's very highly esteemed. And, and I mean, gosh, you're lucky to even work with them or train with them. And they take you to a point. It's like a manager, an agent. Doesn't mean that the manager or agent is bad. It just means that that was your manager or agent for that session, that area of your life. But there comes a point where you need to go to your next tier, your next level. And that team, that manager, that agent is only equipped via connections or or maybe just energetically to take you to that point that you've, you've gotten to. And you're grateful and you say, oh my God, I'm so grateful for this, but now I need to go to my next level. Like it ain't personal. Your breakthrough might be with that next person you study with, might be with that next school, might be with that next, uh, whoever you study with next. So you have to be open to knowing that, okay, I have, I, as we just said, I have all the stuff in the toolbox, but it could be this blue, it could be this blue that I just signed up for that's going to give me my next aha. Uh -huh. Which leads me to tip and thing number five that I want you to think about. Who, and write this down. If you're driving, don't. But I want you to hear it and write it somewhere. This is serious. Who is the voice that you need right now? Who is the voice that you need right now? Now, and let me say this, I'm as an, I'm a, I'm an actress, yes, but I'm also a coach, right? This is my business. So I always keep business coaches. I have not been without a business coach in, I think the last eight years or longer. And I've changed business coaches, maybe every, every six months and maybe every year. And then when I see some progress, I stay with them. Oh, then maybe sometimes you, we've all heard the lesson, a season, a reason, how'd it go? Season, reason, or lifetime. I feel like it's another one. People come in your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. We're just going to go with that. Unless I messed it up. Somebody can put it in the comments. So the same thing is for our coaches. Sometimes it's just like the, uh, those of us in life. Those of you, y'all with kids or husbands or wives. Lord knows. I have experienced it. I tell my husband the same thing five times. Five times I tell him. I'd be like, you know what? This water is really bubbly. This water is really bubbly. I can say it over there. This water is so bubbly. He be like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. One day he'll come home and be like, babe, you will not believe this. I'm like, what, what? He be like, this water? Oh my God, I was talking to, I was talking to Mr. Blue over here. And he was like, yo, this water is really bubbly. And I be looking like, I know. I, I told you the water was bubbly. But he couldn't hear me. So sometimes you're studying with someone, you're at a school, you're in a program, and you just can't hear that teacher. You can't get the word from that person. So sometimes it may take someone else, and it could be the exact same word. And parents, I, I, I think this applies to all of us. <laughs> 
I've been looking like, really? The word the word is bubbly? Oh, oh, and then and then gotta stroke the ego. Oh, it is it is bubbly. Like meanwhile, I already told you that. So the question is whose voice? <laughs> Dawn said all the time. The question is, but whose voice do you need right now? So I have the luxury, I've been so blessed to coach so many of you in this thread. And it's so lovely when I look and see, oh, they're coaching with who, who this, the coach with my other colleague here. Oh, they're taking someone else's class. Good. Because I know that that means they're adding more things to their toolbox. <laughs> yes, y'all, I got y'all laughing. But that's the thing. So let me give you the one last thing that's a bonus for tonight. And again, this last thing I want to share with you is more so for those of you who are my brand newbians, who are brand new and are not sure where to start. Just know, no matter what anyone says, the thing about colleges, though I highly respect them, and even though I didn't get a degree, <laughs> and I'm still very successful, is a lot of the programs for actors, unfortunately, don't teach the business side of being an actor. Unfortunately, not all, but many schools have people working there who are not in the trenches daily and who know things on a surface um, theoretical uh, level. It's a lot of book smarts, but not a lot of like sitting in the trenches and how do you deal with the anxiety of auditions and the, and the depression from not booking and, and getting a manager, getting an agent. What did my cover letting look like? What about my headshots? What about my type and my branding? A lot of programs and hopefully they're changing but a lot of them don't cover that stuff. So even if you do decide to go that route, that's totally fine. Go ahead and rack up that bill. But just the training doesn't stop. The training doesn't stop there. So because even the most amazing actors who you admire and love to watch, they keep trainers, not trainers, but uh, coaches. Even when they're on set, they keep uh, di uh, dialect coaches and acting coaches with them on set. So it never stops. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Do you have any questions around this? And I'm willing to, to take a few questions before we go. And as I wait for any questions or ahas to come through, I'm just going to let you know. Again, this is Actors Daily Bread. Actors, not actors, Actors Daily Bread. If you enjoy this, I have a YouTube channel. And this is episode 234 of Actors Daily Bread, I, but I have tons of other videos on all kinds of other things. So you should totally come to my YouTube channel and subscribe and watch. And who's calling me? It's probably my eye appointment for tomorrow, confirming. So, no questions. Awesome. So look, that's, that's what it is. So if you're on my email list and you got my email asking about what you want to hear about, again, shout out to Natalie Brown who uh, inspired today's session. And I would love to hear from each and every one of you. I'm Christine Horn, known as The Booking Magnet. Catch up. If you missed any part of this, the replay will be available. Have an amazing weekend. Please stay safe. Um, mask up, you know, like many of you. Um, this is hit very close to home. So um, I miss being on set. I miss working. I do. And don't think that you're... you're your, your gift doesn't matter. Our, our, us as creatives matters more than anything right now. And even if we don't get to do it on a professional sound stage, don't forget that your house is a sound stage. Your phone is your camera. Your Instagram is your network. And you get to control what comes on. You are head of programming. So I hope you uh, take that charge uh, with, um, with all the integrity and experience that you should. Have a great night. I'll see you next time. Let's see. I'll hang up on Facebook first. Bye, Facebook. Thanks for hanging.